Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sasa Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today is one of those days where I don't know, it's on a Sunday. I just go whatever and grab whatever. And so today we're doing a alternative review for the CAO because we already done a CAO Fasa, and that one's called Fasa Noche. This one is called Fasa Soul. And this one also came from uh, Eric. Midnight Cigar, and we'll see. He said he liked this one better, so I, I don't know. You know, it, it is a CAO. It's ain't gotta, gotta, <laughs> probably got to taste like a CAO. So let's take a look at the cigar first, and we'll see where that goes. Okay, so CAO Fasa Soul. Wrapper is Honduran OSA Soul. Binders Cameroon and fillers Dominican, Priolo, Cubano. Nicaraguan Jalapa, Nicaraguan Esli, Nicaraguan Condega. Size is 6x50 Toro. And NSRP is going to be $6.99 per cigar. Now, I did a review for the Noche. And uh, it wasn't that impressive. So hopefully this one is a little bit better. Let's get started. All right, as you can see, that is a little bit darker. And obviously with the combination that I would think that is better. It is kind of rare to see a Honduras wrapper this dark. And it is kind of dark, right? So we'll get started while we're doing this. It is a Sunday afternoon. I feel kind of mellow, happy, I guess. Good stuff. You know, start to winterize uh, the surrounding. Put you, uh, like take all the furniture outside. Uh, put a cover on it. It's winter time. It's, it's getting to that season where it's stay at home, smoke at home kind of thing, you know. And funny, I am review a soul, which is, I don't know. Some people say that means the sun. I, I, I don't know. Like Dao So, so the sun. Um, that is the bottom band. Top band is similar, just different color. All right. Leafy stink. Yeah, that's all I got. Ooh, it's kind of like burns a little bit. I don't know why. All right. The other day I cut a cigar that's kind of wet and then now it's like all over my cutter. I have to clean it up. All right, let's try draw. draw. Uh, of course, I knew that was going to come off. Let's see about... Do I have to glue this? Probably not. I don't know. It's weird. Like, I cut nowhere near. Like, there's literally no glue here. No glue. Right? A lot of times, they just put the center, and they, they, they glue the center, and the side is just, like, kind of pressed down. And there they end up to be no glue. So, and here's the thing. A lot of people have that issue, and they just, oh, my God. But... It happens quite often, believe it or not. It doesn't matter what what cigar you have. Sometimes it just it just happens. It just happens because the way it was put together, you know, when they when their hands are wet, you know, while they're putting the glue together, it feels like there's a lot of glue, you know. But once you transport these, not so much because uh, you know when you put a small amount of glue. It doesn't it doesn't always translate right like you know when you try to glue like a like a 
envelope back in the days. You put a little bit of glue on there, you press it out, it's good, but when the person receives it, pat, it pops right off, you know? That's okay. That's what a cigar glue is for. Some people refuse to use it. I don't know why. You know, it's gonna help you to have a slightly better experience over a few minutes to glue it back up. It's not that bad. It's just buy one of these bottles, a few bucks, and then, you know, when you have a small, like, you know, this man made material, it's, it's, some, it's sometimes not completely good. It's, you know, don't let that little flap ruin your experience. And you can tell the person who did this, there's only one side that has overlap. Uh, right here, the overlap. So, they, when they did this, they went like that, and then they do it around it, and they probably rip the end off like that. And that really will, it's not a very good way to do this. That's just me, uh, what I know. I didn't cut that much off. This is how much I cut off, that's it. That's how much I cut off, not a lot. But you know, sometimes it just happens. Mm. It's kind of nutty. It's a little bit nutty kind of cold draw taste. Woodsy, nutty, a little bit earthy. Uh, let's light, light this up. Real quickly. See, once in a while, I wanted to show you guys uh, how people really do smoke. Like when, you, when you're watching a review, okay? It's not a typical relaxing smoke, All right? We're talking to a camera, we're looking at you. We are uh, maybe looking at our notes and stuff like that. We are putting things together for you, your enjoyment. Like this thing is really not how people smoke. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's the difference. Uh, I know there's a difference, but I don't know what the difference is. Because I did both, you know? Oh. Okay. Okay. A lot of spice, pepper. Very nutty. Very nutty. What? Coffee. A little bit, some sort of sweetness going on. Star Annie's. That burn is similar to like a chili pepper burn. That burn is similar to a chili pepper. It's like spicy. Uh, very little amount of like earthiness, just very little bit. Maybe tastes kind of like a molasses syrup kind of sweetness. So yeah, this is what we got right now. Let me smoke one third. Be right back. Okay, right now is roughly about one third of the way. Um, I figure I do the one third around here before I forget and kept going on this cigar because the cigar tastes pretty good. All right, let me talk about this. This cigar tastes um, like grain cracker, chocolate, somehow a little bit of um. A little bit of chili pepper, a little bit of sugar on top, and sprinkle of earth. Bonfire, melted. It's missing that marshmallow, and you happen to be right next to a horse barnyard. That's what it tastes like. 
than first third. It's actually not bad. It's very enjoyable. Like, you know, I was able to take my time and smoke and do some work um, at the same time. It's actually pretty good. It doesn't dry out your mouth. It's um, the, the flavor just keep coming. Not bad. All, all I can complain right now is it's like the draw. Sometimes not enough and it just dies. But when I relight it, it has this beautiful brand new taste kind of thing come, coming through. Uh, there is some cinnamon notes every time I relight it. But once I start to smoke a little bit more, the cinnamon disappears. Tastes like a dessert. It really does. So, so far, so good. This one, a lot better than that Noche, per se. Has a lot of good notes. The sweetness keep coming. Um, I just wish there's a little bit marshmallow note. It will be like an actual marshmallow cracker melt chocolate thing. It doesn't. So let me smoke second, third and see where that goes. It's pretty good. Like I kind of enjoy my roughly 20, 25 minutes of working time right now, working on different things, um, kind of release the, the podcast and stuff like that. This is a, a good working stick right now. So yeah, be right back. Okay, we are at second, third. Microphone come closer. <clears throat> so second, third. It's a slightly more bolder. This cigar is roughly uh, barely reaching medium strength. That is, cigar got bolder in flavor. Uh, it has that, uh, you know, the Mexican San Andreas kind of characteristic, but not completely there. It's sweeter. It's sweeter. It almost have a second. They almost have a. A citrusy like sweet rather than a molasses like sweet. And you get a little bit of like sweet cedar that crossed with that graham cracker flavor. It's actually getting better. Um, it's really good. I like it so far. Second, third. Again, burn issue, but flavor wise. Is definitely there. It, it makes me enjoy the cigar a lot. I want to slow down. I want to really taste it. Every puff has a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. It's really, really good. So yeah, I'm enjoying this cigar right now. Chocolate goodness. A little bit of sweetness. Woodsiness. Barnya tone all the way down. All the way down. And pepper goes in and out. Right? Chocolate. Sweet woodsy. I can't complain much other than draw issue right now so pretty good stuff now here's a band of the top band uh for the noche you can notice that it's just different color but i didn't notice that the top and the bottom band actually supposed to be like that like the notch is supposed to fit it's kind of cool it's kind of cool and if you don't know i think this is one of those cao logo things so um they fit up like that. Pretty cool. And they just extend it so it's top and bottom. I like that design. Not too bad. Just, um, I don't know, color kind of a little dull, but everything else about that is pretty cool. I do like that they make this little tab to make, make it easier to remove the band. But at the same time, like I at first, I didn't even know that's a tab. Like I was trying to rip the red part of it, the red part of it, I'll try to rip it. And then then I realized that you can rip it from the, the, the white tab. So white tab is on the both top and bottom. That makes it easier to remove. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. OK, so yeah, last stir. I'm going to enjoy that last stir and then I'm going to come back and give you a summary. Be right back. Last stir. Strain kind of came up to about medium. Street sweetness is still there. Woodsiness is still there, but a lot of coffee. So sweet, woodsy coffee is what you got to get. I don't get any more pepper. I don't get much of anything else other than those sweetness and coffee. Maybe a little bit more earthiness came back. Not a lot. And that's pretty much it. It's uh, overall... 
sweet dessert kind of cigar that will go really well with coffee, milk tea, whatever you want to pair with it, but something creamy. It's quite nice. And it, I didn't mention creamy because I didn't feel like it's giving me that creaminess. It's just tense. That chocolate does have a syrupy taste to it, but not necessarily creamy. Right? So if you go with something that's creamy, it might do pretty well. Okay? So, yeah. And, and, and overall, it's a good cigar. I'm kind of surprised for for something like that price range to be such a good cigar. Right? So, here's where I'm going to rate it. I'm going to rate this cigar... $12. $12 cigar. I think this cigar has the potential to beat some of the $12 cigars out there. It's quite nice. It's not very strong. It, it tastes really good. And it, other than, you know, I have to rely about 15,000 times, uh, overall, it's doing pretty well. For a CAO cigar, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. This cigar is pretty good. This cigar is, I would say, box worthy for that price. Uh, this cigar is um, a relaxing cigar. This, uh, this cigar can be a work cigar, could be a chat cigar, could be uh, just doing nothing cigar. It's good. It's good. I, I got through an hour, 15, 20 minutes of it. And overall, it's really, really good. All right. So yeah, I recommend this cigar. It's pretty good. Thanks, Eric. Send me this cigar. Uh, I think that everybody should look up for this cigar because it's only a few bucks. Really. It's only a few bucks. And I think that has a potential to be a lot of cigar out there. Okay. So with that being said, proper for using that Honduras tobacco so well. With that being said, that will be it for this cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, check out our podcast, check out our swag, and check out our membership. And go check out my uh yeah, go check out Midnight Cigars channel. You have some reviews here and there. It's pretty good. So, and that will be it for today. I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.